Now it came to pass that in these times the priests went up into the temple, and the bells tolled, and the heads rolled. And the scribes and the Pharisees and the elders of the Liberalites did consult amongst themselves how they might take God and slay him. The high priest of the deep north, Joe Bioki, performed a strange rite and took unto him the vote of a dead man and turned the field into a senator. And God said, the Bible version boss. Goff gathered his disciples about him and saith unto them, Behold, when the budget comes down, there is one among them who will deny me supply three times. And he sent the budget straightway up into the house of the elders, and it was thrice deferred, and the sent probed. Whereupon there arose a mighty tempest and a great constitutional crisis spread throughout the land, yea, even unto the media. And there was tumult and shouting, and the lawyers and the politicians vexed themselves. Now did God tell the disciples how there was one who sought to slay him, as he had slain many before. The disciples asked him, Who is it, Master? And God said, It is he to whom I shall give a song. And God went unto the prophet Malcolm and offered him the song, a half senate election, or half a song. But the liberalites rebuked him in a frenzy, and they led God unto Yaralumla before the representative of Caesar. Governor-General went out to the prophet Malcolm and said, What accusation bring you against this man? And the Liberalites replied, If he were not a malefactor, would we have delivered him up unto thee? When did the Governor-General ask Goff if he was still a leader? And Goff replied, To this end was I born. But, before the day of remembrance was passed over, the Governor-General took away Goth's commission and sent him from the house of the Lord thy Bob. And Goth said, Kerr, why hast thou forsaken me? And the Liberalites took Goth and scourged him, crying, Crucify him! Crucify him! The loan's affair shall be his cross to bear. And thus did they leave him before the people, even unto a third time. God, raising up his hands, turned his countenance upon them, and spoke in a voice that all might hear, Forgive them, for they know not what they do. his head under the heavens, he cried out, God save the Queen, for nothing will save the Governor-General. And lo, the heavens parted, and a mighty host descended, and this was their side.